Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today, I am going to be going to Aldi's. God, my forehead looks a little weird. What's new? It is about 91 degrees in Florida. It feels about 120, but it's fine. I'm hoping to go to Aldi's and find some coconut water and some good stuff like that. I went on Instagram and I had asked like, okay, I'm trying to save money on groceries. Like, where do you guys go when you're really on a budget? <laughs> A lot of people were like Winco, which I don't have here. I don't know if that's a West Coast thing or what. Um, some people said the Dollar Tree and I might have to give that a go. If you'd wanna see a Dollar Tree video or a YouTube video of me trying to shop at the Dollar Tree and get groceries, let me know. Cause I feel like that in its own could be like a whole video. A lot of people said Trader Joe's. If you said Trader Joe's, you're kind of lying though. Some of their things are cheaper. Like some of their produce, is a little bit cheaper and like maybe their potatoes and stuff but that place is not that cheap and that is if you're shopping for one person and honestly i count myself as two people when i'm shopping um i eat a lot of food and i run through a lot of food so the other recommendation was aldi's walmart obviously and costco i think i'm gonna get a costco membership and give that a go and see how i like it too because i know on groupon you can get a costco membership for like 30 to 50 bucks which would be amazing and I wouldn't mind getting their gas, which is also really cheap. So anyway, that was long enough. Here we go on our way to Aldi's. Let's hope I have success. I kind of regret coming here at this hour because it's 4.30 and it looks really crowded. And my this Aldi's that's by me is like not one to mess with when it's really crowded. I've been in here once and it is like small and you literally like have to follow all the aisles. I don't know if all Aldi's are like that, but this one is like very strict on that, so. Here we go, mask on, 2020, baby. Let's okay, you guys, we are back and I have two big bags. They're like literally filled to the brim. I'm not even exaggerating. So, the verdict about Aldi's, I would say, is it's good, but you have to know how to shop there. So you have to bring your own bags if you want to like be able to just leave and put your stuff in bags. I would recommend bringing a quarter so you can get a cart and then bringing your own bags and put your bags like in the cart and then put everything when you're checking out there, they, you pay for it. They put it all back in the cart and then you have to re-put it back in the bag and take the bags to your car. Cause I literally just, I got a cart. I was like, oh, I need to have a quarter to get a car. I got the cart and I'm like putting everything in and then I check out and I looked at my cart and it was just all my stuff in my cart. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I need a bag. This is not okay. So yeah, but I wanted to go over, I shared a couple of the prices. Um, they had like some weird off-brand things like for Pop-Tarts and stuff, but their prices were really good. I will say that like they are definitely much more affordable than other places. Um, the They only had one brand of coconut waters and these aren't my favorite. I like the Coco Joy, Co Joy, something like that. That's a really good coconut water brand that I like a lot. Um, and their produce at this one was just a wreck. Like I did not want any of their vegetables. The fruits were okay. I got some kiwi and some bananas that looked all right, but that part was kind of like a train wreck. Um, I got the essential things that I needed, like different seasonings they have, brown sugar. How affordable, there are things like this. So like this is like a replicate a replica of like the little crystal lights or whatever, like a knockoff version. Their Fit Active brand. That's kind of like their lower calorie, healthier version of things there, I noticed. Um, but these were really affordable compared to what you would pay for them at like Target or Publix. Like their big container of the ones that you put in a pitcher. At Target or Publix, that would be like probably upwards of like four or five dollars and it was really affordable there. So I do like to see stuff like that. And they also had some chicken sausages that I got, which are great because I have been on a chicken sausage kick and Alexander and I have been eating these things like there's no tomorrow. Um, also just some cheese. They had a really wide variety of cheese, which was really nice to see. They had like their own brands of the little baby bells and the laughing cows. I didn't really look at like the calories or see what they were or anything like that, but it's always nice to see that if you're into that type of stuff. I, they didn't have cheese sticks that I wanted, but then again, I feel like 
the Aldi's I went to was probably like a lower standard one compared to others. Cause other ones that I've been to, well, I've only been to like Aldi's maybe twice, but I went to one um, in a different town and it was huge, like massive. They had everything and it was really, really nice. This one was kind of crappy, but it was really close. So I just figured, you know, let's give it a go. Um, they also had tons of frozen berries. The frozen section wasn't bad at all. They had, you know, your classic mixed berries, blueberries, um, lots of ice cream, and I didn't get any, unfortunately, but the prices there didn't look any different to me. Um, the frozen berries like this, there was a price difference compared to like what you would pay at like Target or Walmart, something like that. And something I am super stoked about are these flatbread pizzas that I got. These are chicken barbecue Southwest style. Um, I'm super stoked because the whole pizza itself is 920 calories and a third of it is 320 and they're really big. Their pizzas there are massive. That is how all pizzas need to be. When you buy a frozen pizza, you want it to be big. You're probably sharing it and if you're not, you still want it to be big and all these nailed it or whatever brand they have. Makosi, I might be reading that wrong, but their pizzas there looked awesome. They also definitely nailed it on the head with the cost of their nuts. All of their trail mix and mixed nuts were easily like one to two dollars and fifty cents cheaper than at like Publix or any other place that I've shopped at. They had a massive bag of trail mix for like four ninety five, which normally I feel like would cost upwards of like six seven dollars at like a regular grocery store. Um, they had almond milk, tons of different choices. They had coconut milk. They had normal, you know, regular no fat 1%, 2% milk. So they were really good with all of that. I actually forget the price of the almond milk. It's a Friendly Farms brand. It looks just like the stuff I normally buy, but it says Friendly Farms and I don't think that's the brand I normally get. I'm not picky, I do not care. This stuff has like no flavor to me anyway to begin with. Some of the dried snacks. So I saw that they had some Cheez-Its. I'd never tried the extra cheesy, so I wanted to grab those and I've never tried the extra toasty. I'm actually gonna try them on camera with you guys. Mm, these are the best. 10 out of 10 for that snack. I got instant rice, just kind of the basics that I have every single week, some rice, some meat. I didn't get meat from there. Their meat selection looked pretty low and I actually already have some and I forgot to check the prices, but I heard that their prices are better. My dad always gets his eggs at Aldi's, always gets eggs and eggs whites there. And that's about it. I overall spent $52 on all of this stuff, which is really impressive because normally what adds up a lot is like the coconut waters and things like that. And I ended up getting, I think six of those and they were 98 cents each, which is a really good price because normally they're more than that at Walmart. So overall, I'm stoked. I definitely saved money. Inconvenient, like a little bit, and that sounds so lazy, but the whole process of like having to repackage your groceries kind of, and like doing that outside in the heat in Florida sucks, or like if it were raining out, that would suck. Um, so it's not necessarily the most convenient if you're getting a ton of stuff, but the prices are really good. So I think if you just know how to shop there and you have a really big one around you that has really good produce and great like, you know, meats, vegetables, all that type of stuff, then I would probably check it out. So I definitely recommend checking out an Aldi's by you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Got to see a little bit of like, kind of like a mini grocery haul, but also just get an idea of what it's like to shop there, what the prices are like and stuff like that. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you as always for watching.